The Academy has a new strategic plan and a very important piece of that is malnutrition and it's something we want to throw all of our resources at and make a non-issue in the future. The Academy collaborated with Avalair Health and Abbott to create the Malnutrition Quality Improvement Initiative that's going to give NDTRs and RDNs the resources they need to tackle this important issue of malnutrition. You know, I think the Malnutrition Quality Improvement Initiative is one of the most exciting opportunities for the dietetics profession that I've seen in my 35 years of working in nutrition, particularly because it offers another key leadership role to the dietitians. Dietitians have always been the greatest advocate for nutrition. We believe they are the experts who bring healthcare teams together and keep the nutritional status of patients top of mind. With many complex issues in healthcare, it often takes a village, and it's no different in advancing malnutrition care, in fact, more so. Malnourished hospital adults have a five time higher rates of mortality and a 50% increase in readmissions. And as RDNs and TDRs, we're the most qualified to deal with this issue. The Malnutrition Quality Improvement Initiative, or the MQII, represents a dual pronged approach to advance malnutrition quality in the U.S. There's a set of four validated electronic clinical quality measures, or eCQMs, and we have a set of tools, a validated toolkit, that'll help you perform. The MQII Toolkit is currently available and offers a plethora of resources that will help NDTRs and dietitians from evaluating, screening, monitoring, all the way through discharge planning, working with these malnourished patients to give them the best quality care we can give. The Learning Collaborative has emerged as a key component of the MQII. At its core is a network of hospitals who are dedicated to advancing the quality of malnutrition. Through this effort, the Learning Collaborative has the opportunity to not only raise awareness about malnutrition among hospitalized elderly, but to create a culture of quality within the institution, to provide a platform to distribute best practices among facilities, but most importantly, through this movement, I can tell you that we are well positioned to arm dietitians with the tools that they need to succeed. We believe that dietitians are the qualified driving force who provide the leadership to improve nutritional outcomes. We're in a fantastic position to not only save lives, but to transform how care is being delivered. 40 years ago, when I was a dietetic intern, we started dealing with this issue of malnutrition. And 40 years from now, I don't want to be looking back knowing that we as the Academy missed the opportunity to deal with this important issue. I often say to our nutritional team at Abbott, don't ride the wave, be the storm. Now the Malnutrition Improvement Initiative provides an opportunity for us all to be the storm and together to drive change and the way we identify and treat malnutrition. The Academy is so proud of all our members and what they're doing in MQII. We are so excited about the impact that you're going to have on this important issue that down the road we will no longer be dealing with it. So thank you for your leadership role in this important issue.